Kiss me, Eve. Good evening and welcome to local television. Kiss, which is coming to you tonight from O'Connell's Bar in the East Indian Ballymac area. Our musician for tonight is Dennis Lynch, and um, to put the ball rolling, we left him to play a few tunes. I know we have four, four girls to do a reel for us. We have Siobhan Connell, Maria Cronin, Nora Creedon, and Eileen Creedon. Introducing Mrs. Margaret Sullivan. 
Nada. And accompanying Margaret there was her son, Quilte. I know this time uh, it gives me great pleasure to introduce father and son, Davy Ford and Liam. Davy on the accordion and Liam on the banjo.
Carmagaid. I know it's time for a traditional song, and to sing it we have um, Maureen Lynch and Linda Keller, the Bantry Giddles Lament. Oh, The girls from the Bonogins are all there retired, and the piper and his fellows may go home and blow the fire. For Johnny, only Johnny, is sailing o'er the main, and along with other patriots to fight the king of Spain. The boys will surely miss them when the money more comes round and find that their bold captain is nowhere to be found. The peelers may stand idle against their will and grain, but the band by the gate and work now peels the king of Spain. At wakes or hardly matches, your like will never see, till you come back again to us at soaring no McCree. And won't you trust those buckings who show us much disdain, because our eyes are not as bright as those you see in vain. It cruel death shall not permit our Johnny to return. His awful loss, we Bantry girls, will never cease to mourn. We resign ourselves to our sad loss and die in grief and pain. Since Johnny died for Ireland's pride in the foreign land of Spain. Oh, time for music again, and uh, we have four young musicians here. We have Craig Sullivan, Cruel Cronin, Mary Roach, and Donald Cronin, and uh, they'll give us a selection. <laughs> dancing again and we have a spot this time, the Highland Fling, where we have Dennis Lynch and his sister Sheila Tomey and his sister Mary McSweeney. Thank <laughs> you. 
And it's time for the song once again, and this time we have Peggy Moore from Gurtara Hale to sing The Flower of Sweets to Band. If I were king of Ireland and all things at my will, I'd roam through groves and valleys to combat at my fill. But the combat I would like the best, as you may understand, is to the heart of Martha, the flower of sweet Savan. Her cheeks were like the roses, and her hair a lovely brown, and o'er her milk white shoulders. It carelessly hangs down. She is one of the finest creatures in the whole of Ireland's plain. And my heart is captivated by the flower of sweet Stratan. I wish I had my darling away in Inishon, or in some pleasant valley in the county of Tyrone. I'd try my best in divorce, and I'd work my newest plan to win the heart of Martha, the flower of sweet Savan. But since I cannot win her love, no rest there is for me. Then I must seek forgetfulness in a land beyond the sea. And if you do to follow me, I swear by my right hand that no McGilligan's face you my flower of sweet Straban. Then I'll go to Larkin and by the steamship star. I'm sailing for America, whatever may be for. Our boat is bound for Liverpool, right by man, so farewell unto your Martha, the flower of sweet Stratan. And uh, it's back to dancing again this time, and I think we are joined with a few extra musicians. We have John Hoare here on my left, we have Dennis Sauer, usual musician for tonight, we have Liam Ford, we have David Ford, and we have Condon on the bar on. And we're going for a real set, and we'll have Jerry McCaskey and John Scannell, Dan Dunhorn, Mara Lynch, Jane McCarthy and Sheila Tomey, and Timmy Sullivan and Mary McSweeney. So away with the real set. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What a bit of a good set dancers. And music. Um, after all that bit of dancing, I think it's time to have a song, and this time we'll have our on a scale, and I guess it's uh, Marini Lynch, I guess Linda Nikaela, for himself, and I can't do it. Dancers and um, uh, to the singers, the bigger band, to the singers. So back to dancing again, the same in all time was. So we want everybody in the floor, please, for all time was. Thank you. 
I'm just a woman Help me believe in what I could be And all that I am Show me the stairway That I have to climb Lord, for my sake Teach me to take one day Among men. Well, Jesus, you know, if you're looking below, it's worth thousand then. Pushing and shoving, I'm crowding my mind. Lord, for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. Thanks, Margaret, for singing that song. And um, it's back to singing again this time. We have Connie Reardon down there, and he, he thinks he's very anxious to sing a song. Come on, Connie. Now you've heard of Jean McCarthy and this bullock he has for sale. He lives in Carrigafooka, up a mighty high lane. He runs a dairy herd up there and he bullocks on the trail. But I'll have to tell you the story about the bullock he has for sale. <laughs> now it was Larry Cree that loaded him that morning in the yard. Jean, he was helping on and his eyes were full of stars. The trailer was that bit shaky, but I don't know who to blame. Because they lost him on their way into town, or else was going down the lane. <coughs> and can any body tell me where this bullock he did go? We know that they faced in far McCroom, but beyond that we don't know. Some say that he's gone towards Mushara, more say Slavin Hill. But wherever he'll go, he'll be always known as the bullock they failed to sell. <laughs> no, when Jean found out that he was gone, he lost the bill. <laughs> Saying Larry run down to Chapel Cross and see if he's gone up the hill. They tried the town all over, but was labour in vain. Oh, he'll have to be known as the bullock, no, who that failed to make the sale. 
No, they tried rally all over and doubted the man's cross. At this stage, Jean got mad and said, Bring this bullock back. <laughs> but the night is quickly falling, or oh, we'll have to come off his trail. Oh, he'll have to be known as a bullock now that failed to make the sale. Now when Sean Creed he heard about it, sure he only shook his head. Saying when I had bullocks like him, I'd send for Hugh Crahour instead. I wouldn't be dealing with shaky trailers now or making no delay. But that's another story I must sing for you someday. <coughs> No, it was early the next morning, Jean, he woke up like a lark, saying I'll get the boys together and we'll bring this bullock back. No, Connie Cockery, sure, he overslept, he wasn't up till late. Oh, but to his surprise, when he got up, the cabbage it was ate. <laughs> and can anybody tell me where this bullock he did go? We know they faced in farm McCroom, but beyond that we don't know. Some say that he's gone towards Mushera, more says Slavin Hill. But wherever he'll go, he'll be always known as the bullock they failed to sell. Oh, now to conclude and finish, and I hope you like my song. This bullock, he came back himself, and the farming is going on. Now Jean, sure he got drunk that night, he drank twenty pints of beer. Oh, boys, now raise your glasses and give that man a cheer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, back to dancing again, and th this time we have a couple of parts of the jig set. And we have a different musician, we have Johnny McCarthy here to play for the jig set. <laughs> So away we go, so with the jig set.
Continue with an old time wall. So, when everybody in the floor, please, for an old time wall. Thank you. 
that's all for now. The next ten. Thank you. Good evening, Mahagay musicians, etc. So now um, we have the last song of the evening, and I have Christy Lee here with me to sing. Fancy brings a heart to me of a flower bright and fair. Her grace and beauty both combine to make the heart more rare. Just like a maiden that I know who share my happy love. Oh, where we parted when she whispered, you'll forget me not. I met, I really don't know where, but still it's just the same. Our love rose in a busy street, as well as in the lane. I gently pressed her tight. One glance at me, she shot. She dropped the flower, I picked it up. Cause the sweet forget me not. She's pregnant and she's charming like the lilies in the pond. Time is passing swiftly by. Of her I am so fond. The daisies and primroses are blooming round the farm. Where we parted when we whispered, you'll forget me not. At last there came the happy time when something that I said, which caused her I'm sure we were well. There is a house down in the lake, a tiny garden farm. There grows a flower, I know it well. The sweet forget me not. She's pregnant and she's charming like the lilies and Right, uh, thanks Christy for the song. I know we're organised for a polka set. So away we go and we have Tim Joe here and Liam back in the banjo and Dennis and Con and Dave and all our musicians.
fine. Go to my house to set dancers, and we our time is running out, but we have time for a couple of verses of the lights of Cock Harbour from Eamon Ford. Oh, the lights of the harbour, Cork Harbour lights. Young Pat has been some years away from Cork, his native shore. And now what money saved his back and travelling o'er the foam. The days to him like years have been an endless seems the night. Till he at last, which I beheld, those fame Cork Harbour lights. Oh, the lights of the Harbour, Cork Harbour lights. The dreams of so many long dreary nights. Like a bright shining star, so near yet so far. Oh, the lights of the Harbour, Cork Harbour lights. He fancies hear those distant lights his mother he could see. He pictured her with tearful eyes there wondering where was he. And how delighted she would be to meet him once again. He pictured this while gazing at those lights across the bay. Oh, the lights of the harbour, Cork Harbour lights, the dreams of so many long dreary nights, like a bright shining star, so near yet so far. Oh, the lights of the harbour, Cork Harbour lights. Go to Yaman. And the exhibition here, somebody is going to stand his head. <laughs> I think Frank has gone to somebody's head. <laughs> There's the camera, son. <laughs> And um, I'm afraid that concludes the, our program for this evening, um, our usual program here on a Saturday night. And of course, um, on behalf of Morris and Mary uh, O'Connell, who provide all this entertainment for us on a Saturday night, I'd like to say thank you. And on behalf of Mary and Morris, I want to say thank you to Dan Joe Keller for coming here with his video this evening. And of course, all our musicians. I won't name them all, or anybody else who took part in anything here tonight. And of course, as well, everybody who um, come here on a Saturday night and for everybody who came tonight. Um, therefore, I suppose just one more item. We'll play um, a hand gun from home or cock your leg up, I don't know what you call it, before we go away. And once again, Goramila Mahagav, thanks to everybody.
Timmy Sullivan and Mary McCarthy. Agus Nisha Cardi, your attention please for our national anthem. Or on the Thank <laughs> you. 